The supply of machines in the UK is regulated by the Machinery Directive and its UK implementations. This results in a technical construction file, a declaration of conformity or incorporation and a CE mark. During the design phase you must identify safety components within the machine. These are any component of which the failure can result in an unacceptable increase in risk and which you did not manufacture the component yourselves. When these safety components are integrated as a part of a safety related control system, EN 13849 is one of the applicable standards that can be used to assume compliance with the Machinery Directive. Alternatively, 62061 can be used for determining that the remaining residual risk is acceptable for the safety related electronic control systems. EN 954 focused heavily on the structure of the safety related circuit. And this has now been superseded by EN 13849, which has reduced this emphasis on the structure and introduced the need for the reliability of the safety circuit to be considered. This has increased the burden upon safety component manufacturers to provide suitable failure data and support in the applications in which their components are used. So, during the design of a new machine or safety circuit, we must identify all the safety functions. A safety function is any control system, electrical, pneumatic or hydraulic, whose failure can result in an immediate increase of risk to an unacceptable level. There are a number of examples of safety functions given in EN 13849. A safety function requires a number of parameters to contribute to the performance level achieved. Categorization relates to the structure of the circuit. For example, is it single channel or dual channel? Mean time to dangerous failure will be provided by the manufacturer. Alternatively, they may provide a B10D value, which is the number of cycles before 10% of the components fail to a dangerous condition for a pneumatic or electrical mechanical components. In the absence of this data, Annex C can be used to give values. Diagnostic coverage is the measure of the effectiveness of the diagnostics, which may be determined as the ratio between the failure rate of detected dangerous failures and the failure rate of total dangerous failures. Common cause failure occurs where different items fail from a single event where these failures are not a consequence of each other. During the validation and verification, you will demonstrate that the combination of the safety related parts and control system for each safety function meet all relevant requirements and risk reductions identified. The risk reduction required can be identified using the risk graph from Annex A.